hello, hello. So I've been playing Elris and I was using this beautiful mistress complete vanilla skimpy armors just for fun because it's a it's a small little mod and it gives you some skimpy armors and um, it uh, really just makes some of the vanilla armors that way. Um, it is, let's see, it replaces the glass, ancient Nord, orcish, elven, steel, steel plate, wolf, savior's hide, dragon scale, dragon plate, nightingale, forsworn, ebony, and ebony mail. Okay. Now it may also do some others, but it definitely does those. This says just to name a few. Hmm, I'm not sure that that's necessarily correct. That may be all there are. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll take a look. We'll go in and I'll make some armors and we'll take a look and see which ones are affected by this. Right now, I believe this is the only armor replacer that I have. And if it's not, then I'll turn the others off. But um, this is a very small mod. Not even 50 megabytes. It's under 48. It's by Shroud Legacy. Um... It does work with XP32, so you have the animations. You know, it has uh, the TBBP animations if you have that. So that will work, and these are pretty skimpy armors. And it's, it's like I say, it's it will affect your character and NPCs. It's uh, it's small, and I've I've used it before off and on. It has probably my favorite Nightingale outfit. Okay, and that's what Elris is using, and I will show you that, and we will go through and make sure, we'll try to make sure we make all of these, or at least show you these, like Savior's Hide, and all of these. Um, so, I'm on Elris anyway, so when I hop out, we'll go uh, load her up and show that to you. Let's see. Now, this is Beautiful Mistress Complete Vanilla Skimpy Armors. Now, the only bad thing about this is, is that the original Beautiful Mistress body is gone. There is this mod. This says it's Beautiful Mistress Complete Alternative Body Mesh. However, it also says it still needs the original main mod. But the original main mod is not out here anymore. So... I'm not sure I'm not sure if we can really use this if this is just a body mesh we might be able to still use this and just have our own skin textures um, this is what they say is aiming for a more realistic look which I'm not trying to be mean but that usually means it's just a less curvy look <laughs> whereas you know most of us would go well we could do with the curves but um, you know, there's some who don't like that. There's some who like really thin. So, it's just a subjective thing. Anyway, I'm not using this body, and you don't have to use this body. That's what I'm getting at. You can use this small little mod by itself, and the body will fit, will be forced to fit the armor. And I've never had any issues with it that I remember. And uh, I will show you that here in just a moment. Well, now... Like I said, this is under 48 megabytes, and it replaces, just for females, um, a lot, if not, you know, not all, but a lot of the vanilla armors. Now, I don't think it affects the DLC armors, but we'll check, okay? All right, I'll see you there in a moment. Engage. All right, so here we are. I've made up the things that are affected and a few things that aren't, just to show you. But I didn't make up everything because everything is not affected. There's a limited amount of things that are affected by this mod, okay? So like this is affected, Ozadol's armor, and it's basically the same as the Ancient Nord armor, as you can see there. There's not a lot of difference. I mean, here I'm just going to show you mainly just the, the pieces, the big piece. Because that's really all that's changed, is main, mainly the chest piece. You can see the gauntlets and the boots, but it doesn't make a huge difference. What's being changed is the uh, is the chest piece. Now, the arch mage's robes are not changed. Aurel's armor is not changed. The bear armor is not changed. The blade's armor is not changed. The Chitin armor is not changed. The Heavy Chitin armor is not changed. The Daedric armor is not changed. Now, Dragon Plate is changed. You can see that the Dragon Plate is changed right here. 
and the dragon scale is also changed. You can see that here. And then the ebony armor is changed. And, and you can make the boots and the gloves and, and you won't have any issue. They'll all look correct and look right with it. And the same with the ebony mail. It is changed. And then... Let's see. So let's move on past out of my stuff that I have. So then there's the elven armor. And I did make boots and gauntlets for that. Though I didn't do this for everything. But the elven armor... And, and you're, you'll see the theme here, and there's no issues with this. Um, even if you don't wear the gloves and the boots, I, I don't remember there ever being any issues with this. Um, you could, matter of fact, wear any gloves and boots. Um, I don't think it really matters. They may not match, but, you know, as far as the looks of everything goes, it's the same. The gilded armor, of course, looks the same. It always does. The light armor looks a little different. A little less in the shoulders there but it is changed the glass armor is changed and you can see here and then the the boots and gloves are not the chest the jester's clothes are not changed it might be could it be fitted a little bit maybe but I don't think so it might be fitted a little bit uh, the nightingale armor is changed that's what she has been wearing, that's what I've been having her wear, so that has been changed. This has not been changed, Nocturnal's clothes. The Nordic carved armor has not been changed. You know, unless it's been fitted a little bit, but I, I don't even know if it's had that done. I just know it's not really been changed, seriously. The Orcish armor has been changed. Enough have been changed that this is a good mod in and of itself. I mean, I think so anyway. Star Room Heavy Armor, not changed. Light Armor, not changed. Now the Steel Armor, both variations have been changed. This without the shoulders. And then this with the shoulders. I should have said all three variations have been changed because the Steel Plate is also changed. You can see it here. It's been changed as well. Now I'm not sure, did I remove my gloves by accident or did they get removed by something I tried on? Hmm, could be that something removed them, though I don't know what that would have been. It might have been the Jester's clothes or something like that that removed them. Or maybe the Nordic armor? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Nocturnal's clothes that removed them. Yeah, that's what removed my gloves. That's why right. you can't wear gloves with that. Okay. Anyway, there I removed Nocturnal's clothes. All right. So anyway, the steel plate works, like I said. And then the wolf armor actually is different. Even though it is not represented as being different, it is different. It is changed. So those are all the ones that are changed. I did show you a few that weren't changed, just so you would see that. And there are a bunch, of course, that are not changed. It is just these few armors that are changed. But the armors that are changed are typically the ones you see used the most in the game, honestly. So, at least I think so. You're going to see a lot of, um, not the Nightingale, of course, but you're going to see a lot of glass and elven and uh, steel... And I did not do an iron because iron has not been changed. So, but you're going to see a lot of changes on these, and you're going to see a lot of these like that. And here you can see this. This is a follower mod. You can see that she's wearing the steel plate, and you can see how the whole thing looks. I don't know why she's sunk into the ground. There is no heel clipping. There are heels. You have low heels with these, like this. This has low heels. And there is no heel clipping. They seem to do okay. It's probably not perfect, but it's it's not clipping into the ground. You're not standing around sunk into your ankles. Except for here, she is. Maybe that's just what happens when you use this. Uh, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to talk Until to her next yet. Time. 
I want to see if I can use the forge. Need something? No. I want to use the forge. No. Out with it. I want to use the forge. There we go. Yeah, see, so you sink into your ankles when you use the forge. That's all it is. Okay. We'll let her go. All right, so let me pop out and show you the mod. Be right back. Make it so, no one. All right, so this has been the beautiful Mistress Complete Vanilla. Armor replacer, basically, is what it is. It is a... Uh, um, it's not really complete, of course, but for its size, being under 50 megabytes, it is probably one of the best skimpy things out there that replaces a huge amount, and it supports the TBBP. Um, if you were looking for something that would do a lot for you and take up very little space, this is the one. Um, if you were looking for this type of thing, definitely this would be the first preferred one, especially if you don't have a lot of space. Now you'll notice I did not grab the Savior's Hide, so I missed that one, but I wouldn't worry about that. Um, you've got the, the idea, they're all changed in very similar ways, so shouldn't be too surprised by that. Um, let's see, anything else? Really, that's it. It's a, it's a very good mod, it's very small, and it does a lot for its size you know so you could uh, definitely use this if you're looking for something like this if you're not of course just don't worry about it but uh, it's a very small mod it's very good it's been around for a long time and uh, you know it works well I've never had any problems with it so hope you have a wonderful day I appreciate you watching and I will catch you later Hey, come on now! There's no need to get violent.